Hi everybody, um, this is Chris, or Mr. Kf Note on YouTube. Um, I've been making a map editor for about a week, a week and a half now, and I've got some stuff to show off. It's not perfect yet, but it's a pretty decent first build. Uh, it's written in C sharp. For those of you who don't know me, who don't know anything about me. I'm an aspiring game developer and I really needed a tool to make my levels <coughs> or else it was just going to be a pain in the ass to code them all. So I'll show you what I've got done. This is where you start in the map editor. I'm going to import a tile sheet now from my desktop above. I got this this tile sheet from the Sitcom Age. It's pretty sweet. It's got quite a lot of tiles in it. It's it's good. It's good. Um, when you're importing a tile sheet, it renders the transparency. So if you can see, I had that stinking looking pinkish color there, but that's transparent now. So that's how that was easy to do. I'll show you the new map thing. Uh, I'll just call this new map level, and you can set the map height, map width, to anything really. That's in tiles. You've got 20 tiles, 20 tiles. These are in pixels. This is the tile height and the tile width. So I'll go ahead and do that. And when you select it, it draws a a box around it. Just to let just to let you know what's what you're drawing. Supports multiple layers. There's your collision layer. I'll probably change the collision layer to half of whatever the tile width is, so that it just gives better collision. It'll be a, a lot more accurate. Um, you can also turn them on and off the visibility of them. If I wanted to draw an item there, I would just pick one here. I don't have multiple tile sets in at the minute. I will eventually have tiles, objects, items and stuff. But at the minute I don't have it. It's just taking up it'll take a little bit longer. This is just the first build. So I wanted to show you a map that I made. It's on my desktop I think. And here it is. It's just a really simple just made with these tiles. It's I kind of like it without the background visibility. But yeah, you can turn them on and off. So I've got nothing now. Solids, items, tile layer, background. Yeah, so that's cool. You can also show grid. Turn that on and off. It makes solids a little bit hard to see. I'll probably do something about that. Also, it'll slow down the rendering a little bit because it's drawn each of these lines right across, and it's it's probably a bad idea to draw with it on, but it's good for reference. Yeah, let's take that off now. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got done in this so far. There's a little bit of a problem with the way it renders. It's just it just doesn't render smooth at the minute. The way I would really like it to render rendering with GDI plus and because it the way I'm written it is event based event based and not not in like a game loop it's not as efficient in taking input and drawing so it's it's just a little bit <laughs> flickery if you're drawing something behind like a, if, if if you're drawing a background layer it'll You'll see the background there, then you'll see the foreground there, and it'll just flicker between the two, and it looks pretty rubbish. But I'll probably get that fixed at some stage in the future. So that's what I've got done on the map editor. This is the save file that I had there. It when you save the file, you just specify. I specify test in my save dialog box, and this is where it saved to on my desktop. Um, it saves a test folder and then in, in the folder it puts a text file 
which is just the six slots from map height, map width, tile height, tile width, and then all your tile numbers all the way down. Yeah, for all the layers. And that's the tile sheet tile sheet that I used from the screen age. I think I mentioned that. If you're not subscribed to her, do it. If you're not. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've got done so far. This is the code. It looks pretty disgusting, actually. Ah, oh, it's not so bad. Uh, I created it with a layer object, a map object. Looks like map, and then it does some useful stuff here. Anyway, update later.